Welcome to the world of Deus Ex. I'm Steve Shipkowski, Executive Audio Director of the Deus Ex franchise. We are happy to present to you today the E3 demo of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Set in 2029, it takes place in a world where mechanically augmented people like Adam Jensen have become outcasts. Many are being branded as terrorists and forced to live in ghettos under heavy police surveillance. We call it the mechanical apartheid. Jensen is back, international covert agent working for an anti-terrorist task force. This time you will play a seasoned Adam that is more empowered than ever with new possibilities such as new augmentations, weapons, and tools. He represents the human 2.0. Adam will also be playing a double agent role as he believes that the task force he's working for is being manipulated by the Illuminati and his goal is to take them down. Here, let me help you with it, ma'am. Ma'am? Seriously? Hey, girl, got her, sweetie. You got no message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That Amber sent it from that, man. That's something I was expecting, and that's for sure. Any idea who it is? I'm sure your task force will come up with something, and that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. It's kind of odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Brad team, to Dubai in the first place? Well, they said they were scrambling. Last minute they tell. They're the only straight team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped them into one another. We've got a team in Oman. Got a hell of a lot faster than you guys. It's nice us. But the task force is an Illuminati force, I suspect. Doesn't make much sense to send it to me. Unless they want to team to see something. Officially. I wouldn't dream of it, Alex. It's gone even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. It's kind of like odds like you're going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals all the way up. They'll start acting again. Where's your law? Say that like there's nothing we can do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. Didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? The hell with that? I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. But you I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop him. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to him. Help me find him. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the Amazon's
After the terrorist attack in Prague, the task force asked Adam to look for Talis Rucker, the leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. The task force thinks that he is responsible for this terrible act. But still we have no answers. No one has yet claimed responsibility. Dr. Talos Rucker, the leader of ARC, posted a letter condemning the attack. Sources close to the investigation, however, tell me that Rucker and ARC may be behind it after all. I don't know about you folks, but with the upcoming... Interesting pre-game ritual you've got there. You're getting pissed enough to end this guy yet. I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Who'd have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice? How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. Got a preference? Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from that. To the EC. Yes. Dance yeah, X Mankind Divided is an action RPG mixing several gameplay pillars combat, stealth, hacking, and social with deep choices and consequences, wrapped in a heavy narrative. You can play the game any way you want. You can go stealthy, full combat, or a mix of both. You can finish the game without killing anyone if you choose. Chicane, I'm in ARC territory now. That flyby show you anything? First section seems to be a mass storage area. View I had looks like ARC has repurposed it for living quarters. Or barracks, maybe. Those two things have very different connotations, Chicane. Which is it? Well, everyone in front of you is armed, so I'll let you decide. Right. Today we're going to play stealth at the beginning of our demo and showcase some new possibilities. You'll notice we just picked up a case of EMP ammunition. We support different ammunition types in Mankind Divided, each of them giving you an edge against certain challenges. In this case, to eliminate the camera, we'll want to use an EMP ammunition bullet type. This part of the presentation only represents a small chunk of the entire map. It won't showcase our social hub environment, or the exploration that will be present in the final game. Did you hear about Talos? Hear what? They say he's been drinking a lot lately. Did you hear him? We're responsible for not only everyone in art, but also the entire old court. You would him. You can complete your objectives the way you want, and it's key to observe and explore the environment in order to find new passages or rewards. You can even encounter some characters that will provide you more information and will help you. In this area, we could have gone down through the cafeteria, entered some barracks, or gone upstairs. Deus Ex fully supports multi-path and multi-solution approaches. Yeah. You think the police will try to come in here? No. Not after what happened to him last week. You're dreaming. We don't know. I've had to go Just stay back. calm. If anything happens... One of Adam's new augmentations is the non-lethal Tesla gun arm. You can target up to four enemies at the same time. You can also dynamically switch between your weapon and your augmented powers. This allows a fluid and empowering gaming experience. Here's another new augmentation, the Icarus Dash. It allows Adam to reach new areas, even to ram and knock down enemies. It provides more freedom to the player to explore the environments. For the sake of this demo, energy, life, and ammo are infinite and the code presented is alpha. Nothing is final and the game will be even better at the end. I 
can ignore you better when you're quiet, so... The remote hacking gives Adam more exploration and alternative paths. You can disable or control robots and cameras with it as well. Here's the first look at one of our new augmentations, the Nanoblade. It can be a very effective weapon, as you'll see here. Maybe this NPC needs to stick around for a little while. Hacking 2.0, which is enhanced with more possibilities, such as booby traps, new softwares, new challenges. Jensen, I'm not bothering you, am I? With my way through maintenance, Chef. Thought it was best to stay out of sight. I didn't ask. So you're calling to ask if you're bothering me? Coffee's on the brew, just killing time. Also, I spotted an elevator. Looks like it reaches the upper units. Might get you to a man. Or you could just stay in the air conditioning. In a Deus Ex world, we're constantly reminding you that we have multi-paths and multi-solutions to every challenge. In this case, this is a huge environment. We could have come from down below. We could explore by going to the vent across directly us. Here's another example of what the nanoblade can do. It can also be used as an exploding device, perfect for taking out combatants hiding in cover. In the previous Deus Ex, Human Revolution, we knew that our combat pillar wasn't quite on par with the stealth one. This time around, we put a lot of effort and energy into making the combat pillar as visceral, rich, and a fun of an option to play as the stealth one. Arsenal, the Titan Shield. This allows Adam to become for a short instant a human tank and face heavy fire.
We have much more possibilities now with weapon customization on the fly. You can change your ammo type or even upgrade your weapon to fit with your playstyle. Here we've used an EMP frag grenade to disable the turret and armor piercing bullets to destroy it. Chicane, I'm moving in on Rucker's position. You got those coordinates yet? I'll transmit them as soon as I've finished my coffee. Don't leave me hanging, Chicane. You just worry about getting our man. Be careful. He's dangerous. We'll see. As Deus Ex Mankind Divided is also about meeting deep and rich characters, we pushed our social boss fight system in order to make it more dramatic and credible. We worked on the body behaviors, facial animations, and the all-around staging. I'm Anam. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. As the customary final request of the condemned man, please, do not kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the augmented. Communicate our message of your assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. Going into this social debate, your choices will decide the outcome. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Sojanitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I'm more than a leader. I am a sinner. That is why you wish to marry me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain sane, then even my death is preferable to my without ambition. If I have to bring you in by force, I will. And your people will try to stop me. And neither of us wants anyone to get hurt. So come along, peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. You cannot speak to me of peace or fairness. Not when your masters hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. Come off it, Rucker. You've been preaching pacifism for years from your ivory tower. And all of a sudden your convictions are really being tested and you're tossing them away. No, that's... Permit me to frame this in virtual understand. If you take me from here, you will be murdering me, perverting the cause, and destroying the Augmented Rights Coalition. Permit me to return the favor. Come willingly and prove you're a pacifist, or resist and prove you're full of shit. You are more perverting the cause. You presume to question my pacifism when you attacked innocent people to get in here. I will not dishonor the cause by giving in to you, ever. There's one last thing before you drag me out of here against my will. What motive could I possibly have for committing the atrocities I'm accused of? With every incident, the gap of fear and hatred that divides Orgs and non-Orgs widens. Who really benefits when innocents die? Allegedly in the name of all rights. That's a good question. And a dangerous one. If you ask it too loudly in this place. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying secretly to find out who is responsible. Rucker.
Got a lot of heat coming through the door. I need a way out now. Oh, fuck it, didn't you? How? Relax, they said greenhouse is in your position. Below them is a clearing. Come this way. Already on my way. She came out. Here, we failed the conversation with Rucker, so that alerted the guards, which will make our escape more difficult. If we had won the conversation, the alarm never would have been triggered, which would have allowed you to have an easier escape, and Rucker would have given you his stash keycard in order to get important information. Oh. Now that we fully engaged combat, we will show some of Adam's augmentations, such as the focus mode or the Pep's gun on. Here's an example of our new focus mode, which basically slows the game down or speeds Adam up, depending on how you want to look at it. But it allows for some amazing results. <laughs> 